Hello and welcome to the magic of Imad. This is the do it yourself magic props where we build magic tricks from uh, places like uh, hardware stores and thrift shops. All right, so in today's episode, I'm going to share with you three things I found at the thrift store. Uh, so let me go ahead and get started. The first one is uh, an optical illusion, uh, a puppet illusion. A puppet illusion, uh, usually you see those uh, when in a bird puppet. If you have a bird puppet, you have a fake hand. And then you put your real hand in the puppet and the fake hand seems that you are the, the bird is holding on to your hand in a safari theme uh, uh, presentation, right? So this is something similar. This is a trick, a Halloween trick that uh, the, uh, the, the bucket is made in a way that you put your hand inside and uh, you put candy here and you scare the people and it does have a fake hand in the bottom. So all you have to do is uh, this glove over here. You want to cut this glove out. Uh, so your hand can extend inside and get uh, any of your uh, favorite uh, puppets, uh, you know, prefer preferably uh, Halloween theme. Maybe the Count Dracula can be a good puppet for this. So, for example, here, I don't want to cut this yet. So I'm going to show you like an example of what you can do. So the fake hand is right here. I can hold this. It seems that I'm holding this in both hands and the puppet is moving and he's telling me you guys have to like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Yeah. All right. So this is trick or treat. You don't have to do anything with this. Just leave it as is for your Halloween uh, theme or it doesn't have to be Halloween. Just uh, flip this over for, uh, for an orange uh, bucket basically. Uh, the glove you can cut out. And this cost me 99 cents from Goodwill. All right, this is the first one. The second one I found is something that you might not think as a big deal. This is a dog snake stuffed animal. So this is a wiener dog. Uh, so it's not a big deal because it's just a, a stuffed uh, a snake dog. But basically it is a big deal because this is, uh, if you cut this, if you remove the filling inside and you get one of your older worn out snakes, Especially the one that you, you know, the, cheap, the cheaper ones from China. If you uh, use them so much, they became worn out. Uh, and what you can do is you can just cut, cut it out and remove the spring, the good spring. Take this. Uh, make a cavity here, put the spring inside. And we did this in a cobra snake puppet, I think. Uh, so what you, what you then have, you have a high quality... Uh, a dog that will spring out in, in, instead of the uh, snake. So what's the big deal about this? It is a big deal because when you hold this, most kids will expect you to have a snake when you uh, pop one of these things. And uh, it is a surprise. And also, I do have my children's show. I use uh, a trick where I use uh, animal cards. So basically, these are bicycle, jumbo bicycle that I show animals and different animals and uh, one of the animals I have is a snake and when I show the snake I panic I, I throw the snake away and I say this is a snake free show so I do this again the second time I do I do the David Ginn style where the ca you know the snake is gone uh, there's a cavity uh, in the card and then I look around and the, and the snake is behind my back gag um, anyways if you're familiar with this design this elephant right here this is the, uh, this, they sell a silk uh, with this shape. So what I did is I took the, the graphic of the silk and I made it into a card and I made other animals that will go along with the background. Uh, this is available in my, uh, my full show. I have my full show on Udemy now, so you can uh, check it out. I did uh, add these templates if you're interested in them. Uh, so what I did in the show itself, my actual show is I forced this card on the spectator, and then I can uh, reveal uh, the, the selected uh, card in the format of silk. Well, right now, what I can do is I can get uh, a wiener dog, one of the dogs, to be in, in the picture over here, uh, a dog that will resemble these colors. So I have a weird dog like looks like this, and what a better way to reveal uh, the selected uh, card by opening this up, and the dog will pop out, you know? Children expect the snake will pop out because we just did the snake gag. And then uh, double surprise. So this is, I'm happy with this. I don't have a maker or any tag. So I do apologize. I found three of these. And I got one just to demonstrate it for now. And uh, I might get the other two later. 
All right, so this is the second trick I'm gonna share with you. The third one is a hit and miss. You know, a lot of people do a lot of craft stuff and they donated it. So this is one of the beautiful things that I found. It looks magical. If it looks magical, I'm gonna get it. It's, a, it's just a box with uh, decoration. Uh, the cool thing is um, I can have this on a, on a, uh, because it's made from wood. I can attach a flank and I will share with you a link where you can buy a flank for $3 where it fits the uh, the tripod. The magic number is a quarter inch, 22 thread uh, measurement. So this will fit uh, the tripod, I'll add the link. So you have this on a stand, it's a nice display. You can uh, produce something from inside or you can use it to take something out uh, for the check. So this is a hit and miss, it's not always there. Um, so this is going to be our three finds for this video. I hope you like them. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a nice day.